Welcome back friends. So today we're at the RV Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana. And what we're gonna do is take you around and just show you some of the units here, some of the older units. Um, they've got several different areas in here, an actual Hall of Fame upstairs. They've got some new units in a hall. But what we're gonna show you today is mostly the old, what I think is really cool stuff. So stay tuned. So most of this is just going to be me explaining what you're seeing here. So this is a 1967 Winnebago. And the cool thing about this Hall of Fame is you can go in a lot of these units. So I'm just going to bring you in. I'll give you a little outside look. This stuff is all heavy duty metal handles and screens, old school screens. Yeah, there's Brooke in there waving. Give you a little shot of the outside. Really, a lot of these are just works of art, in my opinion. All right, let's wander to the inside. So, old school curtains. Bel Air Door Company. Wonder if they're still in business. Here you go. This is crazy. Let's check it out. I mean, compared to the Class A's nowadays. Sirius Satellite Radio. Wet shower. A tiny shower head up there. So cool. Little bunk up top. The medic. Still making fridges, huh? Oh, check out these little latches for the... to open up your wardrobe. Speakers up there, they're rocking out. Some more. Oh, look at this, wow. Still got all of the... Or some of the literature. Really, really cool. I love the curtains. Alright, 1974 GMC Motorhome. And GMC got into the game back then. And they built these things like tanks. They're renowned for their... What's that? Is it cool? All right, we're definitely looking to look. But they were renowned for the quality that GMC brought to the RV game. A big automotive company getting into the RV game. Um, they really stepped the quality up a notch. Right, let's go inside, take a look. Oh yeah. This is a sweet rig. Eight track. Very nice. These are some really cool, cool rigs, man. I definitely recommend coming in here. And checking these things out, especially since you can walk through them. Extra storage. And you got your water tank level, holding tank, 
battery LP. Oh, wow, that's really nice having an LP monitor inside. There's your generator start. Egg holders. That's fun. Get back here. Get nice of storage. I gotta lift these up. Right, I'm not gonna mess it up. <laughs> A little bedroom back here. Tell me. <laughs> Check out the bathroom. If you can see it. A little dark. Oh boy. It needs to be cleaned. Yeah, cool. Very cool. Don't close that. I don't think it closes. I don't think it closes. Alright, let's head on to the next one. I really love this and I wish we could go in here. Uh, check out the woodwork and the curtains. They're amazing. Yeah, this is a 1937. Hayes Motorhome, and um, we can't go in this one, but I'm gonna. I've got a like nice little pole on the camera. I'm gonna see if I can get you in here. Man, this is so cool. Let's see if I can. Let me get you under this rope and put my hand in here. Wow, man. I mean, I, this is first class right here. It's so cool. And I love it. This screen door. I'm going to get you back out right quick. Hold on. So check out this folding screen door here. This folds to make a screen door. Really cool. And I can tell you just by feeling this door, it's, it probably weighs a good 50 pounds at least. It's a stunning little trailer all right here we have a 1937 hunt house car and this thing is gorgeous we'll take you inside in a second but man you got to appreciate the outside of it and this is an actual motorhome I don't know maybe this is a class B I don't think they had classifications in the 37. But man, look at the work that would go into something like this. Got the Ford V8. I don't know if you can see that. Hubcaps. That's fun. Let's take a look inside. This woodwork. Porthole windows. little stove here and this is incredible just the the work it takes to bend this wood and look at that some of the old paperwork that came with it the chassis Ford chassis stuff this is a sweet Sweet rig. Roll down windows. Right, Too so cool. Travel trailer, folks. This is the oldest travel trailer in the United States. 1929 covered wagon. So let's check this out. Look at the skirting at the bottom. That's cool. You talk about basic. A bed and some storage. Pretty much about does it. Some of the coolest things in here are these old camping accessories. That old picnic stove. That's fun. Look at that old shade. Old roller shade. All right, we got the big Studebaker dually pulling a 1954 Spartan Manor. So I'm gonna check this dually out first. Got the Michelins on it. 
Old Studebaker, rocking and rolling. Nineteen fifty five Spartan mobile home, but it says fifty four over here, so um these things are gorgeous. Talk about works of art. Riveting the shape. Let's go on the outside, just a short outside look and then we'll go in, take a look. Get your vent fan right here. How's that, Mom? It goes on forever. It goes on forever. Oh, yeah, yeah this, this is be beautiful. Got residential furniture. It's funny. Oh, that thing is huge. Man, this thing is gorgeous. Sewing machine. Nice curtains, storage areas. Globe lights. Those are glass. Look at that. What a great shot. We gonna trade ours in for this, Townley? Um, it's pretty old. So. It's pretty old, so you don't know. I bet it. But it's really big. I it is big. It's, it's got a full-size really fridge. It's more fridge than we've got now. Old but GE. It, but it looks really squeezed in tight. Yeah, no slides. <laughs> I love these old appliances. Look at that vent. There is a bunk bed. There is a bunk bed. Oh yeah, they got bunks? Oh, this is the bunk model. This is a BH, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got yeah, you got a nice little... Bathroom right here. The bathroom. You giving the tour? <laughs> no. Man, that's a good sized bathroom. Nice. Oh, they have another door. That's in the back. Yeah, oh yeah, there we go. Another door with a porthole. And I bet you just put a residential bed back here. Yeah, there's the headboard. And gosh, you could probably put a king size bed back here. This thing is huge. 1954 Spartan. All right, oh, this okay. is a 1939 Schult Nomad. Yeah. Right it's one of Indiana's first steel frame, what they call mobile homes. And the interesting, this, uh, this is like a padded material. Take a step back and get a shot of the outside of it. Very basic, but for 1939, These doors, I mean, that's just so cool. That door's heavy. Good stuff. Let's take a look inside. You can actually go in this one. This is maybe one of the oldest ones you can go in here. And this is cool. So, so cool. This furnace here. I bet that heated this thing up real quick. The stove is beast. That's so, so neat. So cool. All right, one of the first pop-ups, 1935 Cozy Camp tent trailer. You can see how the door folds for storage. And then pretty much just two, two cots.
Fleetwood's very first motorhome. Pace Arrow, 1969. Let's take a step inside this one. Look at those seats, I hear you. I think my favorite thing about a lot of these older ones is the appliances. Well, I think my number one favorite is the old woodwork, but then the appliances. The lighting's kind of. I don't have my light with me, so my shoe messed up on it. I usually, have a light to film with, but my shoe it attaches it to the camera. Got stuck. I don't have another one. Really cool. There's some really nice stuff here. 1929 Weedman house car. Take a look inside. Driver's seat. Ha! 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 Oh man. That is cool. I'm sure that would definitely pass the crash testing nowadays. Man, that is gorgeous, isn't it? Look at all the windows. I'm trying to get you. I can't go in this one, but I'm trying to get you in as far as I can. Man, that is a cool, cool coach right there. 1931 Mae West house car. Chevrolet chassis. I know this is a popular, one of the most popular exhibits here. Um, Awesome rig. If this one could talk, huh? Woodwork is great, crazy in here. Got a little back porch. That's cool. Nineteen thirty five Road Chief original. I mean, they started making these again. They bought the rights, I think. And these are two hundred thousand dollar rigs. But this is an OG one. And man, it is stunning. It's kind of packed in here where you can't really walk around it for good reason. It's one of less than 50 remaining. But you can buy one of these new if you got a big checkbook. Nineteen thirty nine Lindbergh travel trailer. This was built for Charles Lindbergh. You can actually go in this one. They don't have it roped off. Let's take a look. So it's insane for me to think that 
Oh, let me get you focused. There you go. That light is bright. That I'm standing in Charles Lindbergh's camper. <laughs> That's crazy to me. Got a clock and an amp meter right there. Let's fold up seats. I don't dare touch anything in this one. Stove. Pump water. That's right, cool. We found Brooke's favorite motorhome. <laughs> Look at the back of it. Man, I'm telling you, holy cow, you talk about styling and profiling holy moly i don't think you could stand up in this one can you stand up in that one have you gone in that one Brooke? i don't think i'm gonna make it in that one yeah i'm gonna yeah so i'm gonna show you around in here real quick this is actually a let's see Star Streak. That was a custom, built in 1988 using a 76 Cadillac Eldorado chassis. 1928 Pierce Arrow house car. And if you know anything about Pierce Arrow vehicles, uh, these restored just the cars are worth a ton of money. I I never knew they made these. How many did they make, Brooke? This is only one of three of them, and it's fascinating to see the brass some of the just all the coach work that went into this thing the wooden steering wheel look how thick these doors are I mean curtains the roof what would we call this Brooke lattice work I guess right here it's got to be the bathroom, I guess. Yeah, you can see I mean, through the door. This thing is beautiful. I'll take you around the back, and then we'll take a shot inside. Look at this back here. Just the, the work that went into this is insane. All brass. Tell me, let me jump in there right quick, baby. I, I'm not going to go in it. I'm going to put my camera in here. All right, let's see if we can get you guys in here. Oh, little. Wow, look at the potty. <laughs> Even the potty is fancy. Holy moly. Let's see if we can get you in there. Oh, that's about all we're going to get. There you go. This is a super. This would be the Prevo of uh, 1928 for sure. 1954 Yellowstone yep. travel trailer. There's Townley in there. Another one you can go in. I mean, this one looks like it's ready to hit the road. Check out these wooden screen doors. Interesting screen. It's like a horizontal screen in there. Let's take a look inside. Again, these little latches on the door. Assuming this is the restroom. Nope, no restroom in this one. A lot of storage though. This 
Somebody left their Maui gems in here. Man, what a cream puff fridge. Beautiful little rig. 1916 Cozy Camp tent trailer. Looks like an all wooden construction. Oh look, they're bunks. So you've got cots down here and a bunk above. So this is a family camper, Mom. What do you think? You want to trade one in? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> this is really cool. I do think it would be cool to spend a weekend in something like this. Just to get really intimate with it and see all of its little quirks and features, as Doug DeMuro would say. Nineteen thirteen Model T. This is the last year that you could choose your color. This is a blue one, so it's authentic. It's dark blue. You can't really tell from the camera. Pulling this bad boy. Earl, 1913 Earl Travel Trailer. So let's look, take a, what interests me is the hitch. See if, I can, see if I can zoom in on it for you. So for all the safety measures we take, it's basically a bolt. It's pretty much all that is. And uh, obviously, it's not like they're going to be screaming down the road at 70 miles an hour. But I do find that interesting. Let's take a look inside the Earl travel trailer from 1913. Basically, nothing but seating and sleeping. I'm sure those fold down. And I would assume they would just load this up with stoves and whatever else they needed but so again one of the earliest ones here 1958 Airstream Flying Cloud fascinating to me is the lines the propane lines are just copper lines Get you in here. We can't go in this one, but just always impressed with the polishing of these older airstreams. You talk about some work. Step back here to this one too. This was a prototype uh, for the European market. And Wally Bynum, Wally Byam, the founder of Airstream, decided not to produce these. So this is pretty cool. This is maybe a one or two off right here. Smallest Airstream ever built. I'll take a step back so you can see it. It's 10 feet. Basically a spot to sit. And a body. Pretty good use of space for 10 feet. Tell me, you think all four of us would sleep in that one? No. <laughs> no. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that short little tour. This is only, I probably showed you maybe a third of the RVs here. If you're ever in Elkhart, it is well worth stopping by. Well, we've, we've been here about an hour or so. Uh, it's really cool. We're going to go check out some of the other stuff. They have some newer RVs here on display. I don't think any of you guys want to see that, but I thought this was very interesting. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, consider subscribing.